हेलो एवरी वन मै नेम इज डाक्टर रमेश कुमार गाजुला वर्किंग ऐस ए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट आफ् कैमिस्ट्री वर्धम कॉलेज आफ् इंजीनियरी इन टूडे सेशन ऐम गोइंग टू डिस्कसिंग अबउट द कंडक्टिंग पॉलीमर्स मेटीरियल हाज वी नो दट जनरली पॉलीमर्स मेटीरियल आर् इनसुलेटेड वै दे आर् इनसुलेटर बिकाज आफ द लैकिंग आफ फ्री एलेक्ट्रा वी नो दट द रीजन फर् कंडक्ट इज ड्यू टू द प्रसेंस आफ अवेलेबिटी आफ फ्री एलेक्ट्रा But in case of polymers materials, the availability of these free electrons are lacking. So that's why the most of the polymer materials are insulated. But our today's concept is what is that? Conducting polymers. That means some of the polymers materials are also exhibit the conducting nature. So that's why that pol polymers which are which are exhibit the conductance is known as conducting. polymers mean some of the poly so they can exhibit the conductance property so now here we can conducting polymers uh, here i am showing some of the polymers they are going to exhibit the conductance one is the polyesterline molecule and another one is polypyrrole molecules so these are the some of the examples for conducting polymers so how they are going to conduct the conductance nature dear the availability of pi electrons throughout the backbone of the polymer chain the pi electrons are going to available then these pi electrons are continuously moving from one end to the another end of the polymer chain then they can exhibit the conductance is known as conducting polymers and these are the examples for conducting polymers materials next one moving to the classification of conducting polymers conducting polymers are majorly classified into two types they are intrinsically conducting polymers and extrinsic conducting polymers material now here you can see the again here intrinsic conducting polymers that means polymers which can exhibit the conducting property which can exhibit the conductance due to the availability of pi electrons mean within the molecules there is here availability of free electrons are there so that's why this polymers are exhibit the conductance is known as intrinsic conducting polymers this conducting intrinsic conducting polymers are again classified into two types they are conjugated conducting polymers and another one is doping conducting polymers material this doping conducting polymers are again classified into two types they are p doping and n doping conducting polymers materials the second classification is extrinsic conducting polymers material now in the name only the definition is there extrinsic conducting polymers that means here the polymers are exhibit the conductance by adding of some external conducting substance material then the polymers are going to exhibit the conducting property is known as extrinsic conducting polymers now this extrinsic conducting polymers are again classified into two types they are conducting field decorated polymers and so the second one is blended conducting polymers material so this is the simple classification of conducting polymers now i am going to discuss one by one we can start with extrinsic conducting polymers materials okay first one intrinsic conducting polymers sir intrinsic conducting polymers mean they can exhibit the conducting property without adding of any external substance that means within the molecule only the these polymers are contain the pi electrons these pi electrons are moving the one end of the polymer moves to the one end of the to another end of the polymer chain is called intrinsic conducting polymers now the first in case of intrinsic conducting polymers the first one is conjugated conducting polymers materials conjugated conducting polymers material right so what meaning of first conjugation conjugation mean molecule which contain the alternative double bonds here i am going to explain you with one simple example so here i am going to taking one example that is 13 butadiene molecule so this is the structure of 13 butadiene now here you can see uh, it's contain the double bond again single bond double bond mean this type of arrangement should be present in the molecule then that molecule is going to exhibit the conjugation property so conjugation mean alternative 
double bonds so now here you can see double bond single bond double bond so this type of arrangement should be present then that concept is known as conjugation so with the help of this conjugation property then polymers are going to exhibiting the conductance is known conducting proper conjugated conducting polymer now here i am going to explaining the conjugated conducting polymers with one suitable example that is polyethylene molecule so this is the structure of polyethylene molecule so i am going to writing this polymer in the elongation form ch double bond ch again ch double bond ch ch double bond ch ch double bond ch so now here you can see this is the the simple arrangement of the polyethylene molecule now here this polyethylene molecule possesses pi electrons mean so here this molecule is contain alternative double bonds now here you can see the double bonds here double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond like throughout the backbone of the polymer chain then this molecule is contain this pi electrons are there this pi electrons are moving from the one end of the polymer chain to the other end of the polymer chain is called conjugated conducting polymers mean the here what happened this pi electrons are continuously moving so that's why then this polymer is going to exhibiting the conductance property so that's why these polymers are known as conjugated conducting polymers and one more example polypyrroles also with the help of polypyrrole also we can explain the conjugated conducting polymers property this is the the first one in case of intrinsic conducting polymers material and next second one is doping conducting materials and next one doping conducting polymers okay the second one is doping conducting polymers mean by adding up some oxidizing agent or reducing agent then the polymers exhibit the conductance is known as doping conducting polymers that doping conducting polymers are again classified into two types they are p doping and n doping conducting polymers material p doping and n doping conducting polymers material okay now i am going to explain the first one that is p doping conducting polymers p doping mean positive doping conducting polymers material now here again i am taking one example that is polyethylene material so for this polyethylene molecule i am going to adding lewis acid or any oxidizing agent oxidizing agent while adding lewis acid or oxidizing agent okay so first what is the meaning of oxidizing agent oxidizing agent mean it oxidized another substance here what is that another substance the polymer material mean while adding the oxidizing agent this oxidizing agent is going to oxidize the polyethylene molecule once the polyethylene is undergoing oxidation mean the loss of electrons once the ethylene is undergoing loss of electron then it is going to getting a positive charge on the polymer chain so now here i am going to writing the mechanism of the polyethylene molecule this is the structure of polyethylene here i am going to adding lewis acid iodine or cis sulfur here so while adding this oxidizing agent the loss of electron should be take place from the polymer chain so while loss of electron it is going to getting the positive charge so here what happened electrons are there mean double bond is there so this oxidizing agent is taking the electron from this bond carbon then this carbon is going to getting positive charge and one electron should be is here so it is known as polar ion or polar ion mean the formation of positive charge is known as polar ion again i am going to adding oxidizing agent one more time while adding oxidizing agent again it is going to taking the electron from the polymer chain then it is going to getting the again one more positive charge bipolar on or bipolar ion right so in this way the charges are forming while adding the oxidizing agent are lewis acid now how the polymer is going to exhibit the conductance now 
we know conjugation is different types of conjugations are there they are pi pi conjugation pi electrons along with non bonding electron conjugation and another conjugation is pi electrons along with cation conjugation and one more conjugation pi electrons along with negative charge conjugation but among this here we need pi electrons along with cation conjugation now you can see this pi electrons are moving this side then the positive charge moves towards this end now i again here you can see if this pi electrons are moving this side then the positive charge is moves towards right hand side mean continuously in this way the pi electrons are moving throughout the backbone of the polymer chain then the polymers are going to exhibit the conductance is known as positive doping conducting polymers so this is the the first one p doping conducting polymers here i am going to here i took the one example polyethylene while adding oxidizing agent or lewis acid that oxidizing agent is take the electrons from the polyethylene molecule then the positive charge is forming again we are adding one more time then here one more positive charge is forming so this positive charge and pi electrons are continuously moving throughout the backbone of the polymer chain then the polymer is going to exhibit the conductance is known as positive doping conducting polymers and next one moving to the second one n doping conducting polymers materials so n doping conducting polymers mean here i am going to adding lewis base or reducing agent n doping conducting polymers so mean formation of negative charge on backbone of the polymer chain then the polymer is going to exhibit the conducting property while adding reducing agent or lewis base again here i am going to explaining this process with the same example of polyethylene adding the lewis base you can take the sodium naphthalide so while adding this lewis base so you know we know the definition of lewis base that is lewis base mean electron pair donor or reducing agent reducing agent mean it reduces another substance mean it here while adding the reducing agent mean the polymer is going to gaining of electrons from the reducing agent so that's why the number of electrons are going to increasing on polymer chain so the negative charge is forming addition of electrons now again the charge is forming he is known as polar on or polar ion again i am adding one more time the reducing agent so then again here also negative charge is forming now once the formation of negative charge then this pi electrons are moving continuously towards throughout the backbone of the polymer chain then the polymers are going to exhibit the conductance so this property is known as n doping conducting polymers mean while adding the reducing agent or lewis base the negative charge is going to forming on the backbone of the polymer chain then this negative charge and pi electrons are continuously move, moving on the backbone of the polymer chain then the polymers are going to exhibit as n doping conducting polymers material so this is the the first classification of conducting polymers that is intrinsic conducting polymers materials next one moving to the second one extrinsic conducting polymers extrinsic conducting polymers polymers which can exhibit the conductance by adding of some external substances by adding of some external conducting substances then the polymers are going to exhibit the conductance is known as extrinsic conducting polymers so extrinsic conducting polymers are again classified into two types the first one is conducting field element conducting polymers conducting field element conducting polymers in this polymers the polymer can act as a binder so here the polymer can act as a binder while adding the external substance immediately the polymer material it can bind that external substance then the polymer is going to exhibit the conductance is known as conducting polymers now what are that external substance here i am going to give some example one is carbon black and second one is 
metallic oxides and third one is metallic fibers while adding this type of external substance then immediately the polymer can bind with this external substance then it is going to exhibit the conductance is known as conducting field element conducting polymers the among this most of the time we can add the carbon black because of high surface area and high porous nature we are going to add the carbon black to the this polymers material so here but how much of concentration we can add this external material so the minimum concentration of conducting field element is added to the polymers is known as percolate threshold value I mean we don't want to add the excess so the minimum concentration of the external or conducting field element is added to the polymers is known as percolate threshold value percolate threshold value so this is the simple definition of percolate threshold value that means the minimum concentration of conducting field element is added to the polymers is known as conducting field element so this is the conducting field element conducting polymers and next one blended conducting polymers material okay here in this case a conventional polymer is blending with the external reagent then the conducting property is going to increase either physically or chemically is known as blended conducting polymers material I mean while adding some external reagents either iodine or bromine or sometimes we can add the some of the organic solvents trifluoroacetic acid while adding this type of substance so then polymer conductance is conducting property is going to increasing either physically or chemically is known as blended conducting polymers material so this is the uh, second one the blended conducting polymers materials and next one applications of conducting materials the conducting material polymers are used in various applications it can be used in rechargeable batteries and it is also used in for detection of gases like uh, ph oxygen sulfur dioxide ammonia and also we can detect the glucose molecule then conducting polymers are also used in ion exchangers it can also used in the releasing of drugs optical fiber filters and it can be also used in voltaic devices materials telecommunication systems and it can be also used in microelectronic devices and also it can be used in biomedical applications materials so this is the, uh, the schematic representation of the conducting polymers application materials energy photocatalysis application environmental biosensors and biomedical application materials so with this i am going to concluding our today's session so in this session i co i am covered the conducting polymers classification of conducting polymers along with its applications of its applications thank you